And now, let's move on to the A level that made me cry the most. <laughs> and was also the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It's A level further miles, let's go. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jude, if you don't know, um, I have finished my A levels and I did A level chemistry, biology, miles and further miles. And today, I'm gonna give you an honest review of A level further miles using the same four categories that I've used for my other two so far, um, which has been an honest review of A level chemistry and A level biology. If you want a miles one, let me know. Um, but the further miles one will kind of go into the details of further miles, more than miles, but a lot of it's kind of similar um, in my review, except miles was easier. <laughs> a lot easier. But yeah, A level further miles, um, in case you don't know, it's the hardest A level. Um, technically, it's not the number one hardest A-level due to the fact that most people who do A-level further maths are going to do well due to the fact that they've chosen to do it. Um, and you kind of have to be good at maths and your school will not let you do it if they don't think you'll be able to do it. Like, it is insanely difficult. Um, insanely difficult. But it's not, it's easy enough to get do well in. That's what I'll say. Um, but first of all, we're going to move into number one course content. I did AS Maths and AS Further Maths in the same year, and then I did A2 Maths and A2 Further Maths in the same year. So, whenever I was in Year 13 Northern Ireland, Year 12 UK, I was doing half Maths and half Further Maths, and when I was in Year 14 Northern Ireland, Year 13 UK, I was doing half Maths, half Further Maths. So, I had a bit of a different experience to a lot of other people who'll do all of Maths in one year and all of Further Maths in the other year in that. I did a bit of both, uh, well, all of both at each point. And that meant that I was doing the easy maths and then doing this insanely difficult maths that we hadn't fully done stuff for at some points. Um, and we were also having to teach ourselves a like the maths in further maths. It was, it's a bit of a situation, um, but I kind of liked it. You got a really good head start in maths my maths came on so much, um, not even my further maths, but my ordinary maths, like, accelerated through doing further maths. One thing to know, if you will be doing a level further maths, your ordinary maths will go like that, um, exponential growth or something, I don't know, because it's really hard, um, and it's gonna feed into your maths, and your maths is gonna grow, while your further maths might not be as good, expect a difference, um, but, there are three parts to edible further maths. There is pure, mechanics, statistics. Um, there's also mechanics two and discrete decision, but I didn't do those two, so I cannot speak about them. Um, but you do three units, and that was in my course. In other courses, I know you do like four units, or you do slightly different units, and um, just whatever way your exam board works it. This is how mine does it, and I liked it. It was similar to GCSE further maths as well, where you did your pure mechanics, statistics, and my favorite is pure. Um, but there's a lot to cover, and of course it is so much harder than regular maths A level, so much harder. <sighs> Insane. Um, yeah, it's really really difficult, and you'd be fully confident in each topic because the topics progress on from each other. You may need to use a topic that you've already done in the future, um, so you need to have each topic under your belt so well, um, and that comes by practice comes back because as you go along, when you finish a topic, do as many past paper questions on the topic as you can to get that in your head and every now and again come back to it. I remember um, during the Christmas holidays, I got massive, like I found online, massive book of past paper questions for my topics and I would just go through a couple of them a day in different topics and throughout the entire year actually, I would just chip in my booklets of past paper questions of topics I'd done like at the start of the year to keep it ticking up and up and up. Um, and that was really useful for not letting me forget how to do stuff because see, as soon as you stop further maths, whew, gone. Um, I doubt I could do everything that I could have done earlier in the year now, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, it's probably not a good thing, is it? I'll have, to, I'll have to retry that for university. But anyway, um, yeah, you do need to keep on top of it. Um, and for good teachers, 
hope for good teachers in all of the areas. I had three different teachers in my first year and three different teachers in my second year. I had six teachers for further miles overall. And some of them were better than others, but I really liked actually all my teachers. Um, there were a couple I absolutely loved uh, and a couple of, well, one, one that I didn't like as much. Um, so yeah, I actually had a great year of teachers, which I'm really happy about. Um, another tip is learn as many formulas as possible for speed, but use the formula book because you're not going to remember all of them. You will not remember all the formulas. There are too many formulas to remember. Um, or if it's like your integration and differentiation, use the formula book that you do not want to be getting one of those wrong because you remember it wrong. It's good if you remember it because I did remember most of them. Um, but there were times when I'm like, I just need to look this up to be sure. And it's better to be sure and get the question right than think you know it and get it wrong because I've done that before and it's not nice. It's not nice. Okay, number two, my favourite topic. All of pure except for vectors. Let me repeat that. All of pure except for vectors. No. No, 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 no. Vectors, I still don't understand. Like, what are vectors? Okay, I know what a vector is, but like, why are we like finding planes and intersecting planes and finding equations of planes and lines and stuff? I didn't like it. Um, cross product for volumes of vector 3D objects. I didn't like it at all. Um, and it was actually one of the topics that we started and just finished quickly coming into the first lockdown way back in 2020. So I never really got a chance to practice it, but <laughs> when I did, it wasn't great. It really wasn't great. Um, so yeah, vectors were my absolute least favorite topic um, in pure. Hyperfall, hyperbolic functions. I love integration. I love um, mechanics. Simple harmonic motion took me a while, but once I taught myself how to do it, like once I actually worked out how to do it myself, I loved it. Um, and stats, guys. I like statistics now. A level further maths has changed my perspective on statistics. I actually like it now. Um, like statistics is more interesting than you'd expect. Um, hypothesis testing, I've actually done some of this for research um, on various other things. I've done hypothesis tests, I've made them up myself, um, and I've used some of these things that I've done now little statistics to actually like do stuff in real life. Um, now if you're not going to be doing any of that, like it's just interesting projects to be working on, but like I love it. Hypothesis testing is so enjoyable. But yeah, that's favourite topic. Number three, least favourite topic, mechanics. And vectors. Um, mechanics I never understood in my two years. Ne mechanics never got into my head. Now, coming up to my exam, I made it to get into my head because I needed it. Like, it was going to be my exam. I needed to learn how to do mechanics. But um, it took far too long for mechanics to get stuck in my mind. Um, that's a song reference, but no one's going no to get that. Um, if you're struggling with pure mechanics or statistics and it's not going into your mind, go back to the start, try and reteach it to yourself, try and go from the start um, and learn, learn, learn. And I, what I would do is I would get loads of different textbooks online or look up information on all the topics I didn't understand, which in mechanics was all of them, literally all of them. Um, and I would rework my way through them, like completely rework my way through them to work out how to learn them. Um, and eventually I did. Eventually I got, I kind of got methods in my mind that worked even if I didn't fully understand it and I gradually understood it. Still don't fully understand it. But yeah, mechanics, especially frameworks. Um, frameworks took me ages to understand because I just didn't have the moments knowledge because I never did physics. Um, so I didn't understand moments and yeah, that was kind of assumed that you knew physics in a level further maths. Which I don't. Which I absolutely don't. Um... Yeah, there's my least favorite topic. I mean, vectors, I, I, they're so abstract. I don't, like, I don't know. Vectors just really confused me throughout the entire available for the miles, like, honestly. Okay, so the exam. <laughs> Number four, the exam. Um, Concentration is absolutely key. Probably more so than in any other exam. You do not have a lot of time in idle for their mouths and the papers are long. You need to be on top of every, every single topic and you need to be doing the 
questions as quickly and efficiently as possible because you do not have time to make mistakes. Like, honestly, you do not have time to make mistakes. Um, practice, practice, practice. Do as many past paper questions as you can so you get good at knowing what to do instantly without having to think, like, what's the method I'm going to use for this? You need to see a question and be like, done. Except it might take you about five minutes to answer the question because they can be long like that. Um, what I would do is coming up to my exam, I would just practice past paper. So I would practice like topics. Um, and then once I like kind of got ahead around all the topics, I'd do exam papers. And I would like, just go through an exam paper and do it as fast as possible. Um, so I knew what methods and I was assigning methods to things that looked different, different ways. There are certain questions that I have covered on this channel that are 15 plus marks. And like, if you don't have a method for that, you're not going to get it because I've got them wrong so many times by not like knowing exactly what I'm doing. It's complicated. Some of them are really, really complicated like that. Um, but generally the questions start out relatively simple, like, well, not simple, it's further miles, but let's start out with something easy enough, um, something straightforward, something that you do most of the time, you know, like one of those basic questions that you get all the time and they progress, they get harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. You get more difficult, more abstract until you're getting like a 15 mark question or there was a question that was 30 marks split into three parts. It was very difficult, um, like very, very difficult. I got it wrong several times while I was practicing it. It was so hard. Um, and it came up as an issue of me just not paying attention and not concentrating fully the entire way through. But one thing I will say is get yourself the Casio CG50. This is a life changer in further mouths. Also in ordinary mouths. I like to find ways of checking things. Now in further mouths, there's not a lot you can check on the calculator. In mouths, there is. Um, and I would check everything against the calculator um, by using some of the features. And using graphs, learn, learn graphs, learn how to use graphs to check your answers. It's vital to getting marks. Um, it's vital to getting marks using a calculator and working out exactly how to use a calculator and how you're going to be using a calculator for checking. Um, but I absolutely love this calculator. Like, one of the best things I've ever bought in my life. I do not regret it at all. It was very expensive for a calculator, um, but I love it so much. And I've got so much use out of it in the past four, like two years. I was going to say four years, it's only been two get yourself the Casio CG50, it's worth it. So before I actually conk out because I feel myself getting sicker and sicker and more hay fevers or something as I make this video, that's all I have for today. If you did like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Do you want to see more of these videos? Let me know because I will happily make them. But that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.